This video is to show how to connect up the PMM7010 using a preamp attached to a biconical antenna. You would bring the output of the antenna into the input of the preamp and take the output of the preamp, connect it up to the RFN of the PMM7010. Now on the back you got to make sure that your serial connector is connected up to the serial adapter which is then connected to your USB port of your computer. Now if you're going to be using the LISN that is inside this unit you would connect this cable up to the power receptacle here for your LISN and then you would use this cable Connect it into here to supply power to your DUT. Now we turn on the system. Turn on the power amp. Turn on the PMM7010. And then one thing you've got to come over here and make sure on your laptop is that you know what COM port that the system's going to be looking for. You look into your device manager under ports and look for the pro prolific USB to serial COM port and see what COM it is. In this case it's on COM port number 5. Depending on which port you connect it into on your laptop, it could be COM 6, it could be COM 4, but you need to make sure that you understand that. Now the PMM7010 should be able to detect it what COM port it is on its own, but if not we will need to go in and set it. Now that we know what COM port we're on, we can close the device manager. And there's two ways of starting the PMM emission uh, software. One of them is a double click on the icon on your desktop, or you can just single click on this icon on your toolbar. And the PMM emission suite starts initializing. Now once the suite is initialized, for the PMM7010, we're going to use the Analyzer tab. Which will bring up all the settings that have been pre-configured before, such as the start frequency, stop seek frequency, center frequency, the span, are your detectors looking for peak, average, RMS voltage? Uh, do you want max hold or hold when done? And over here you have other settings such as do you want your uh, do you want measuring units of microvolts or DBM? Uh, which line are you testing on the 72? which needs to be ensured that the L2-7010 is chosen and we will choose line 2 at this point to test and you will see that there is an indicator light on the front of the 7010 showing you you have chosen line 2. When we choose line 1 it'll do the same thing. The indicator light will let us know that we have chosen line 1 and those are the lines that will have the interference induced into it and on your graph you will see a pink line and a brownish line. The pink line is the constant run now time type of sweep. The brown line is the maximum hold of any voltages. The yellow line it tells you you're getting close to the limit and the red line is the limit of any sp spikes that you might need to see. And I believe that is a that is it for the overview. Thank you for watching.